everyone we're going to do a quick mass planner 2 presentation after you have logged into your account the first thing you'll see is a dashboard it has the summary tab statistics what's new contact support and notifications from the summary tab you'll find information about the actions executed by the application you can also see if there are any errors you may choose to display only the errors or you may choose to select a certain account to show on the dashboard that way it'll be easier for you to spot any errors or if you want to look at the status information for that particular account now let's move on to the statistics tab this is where you'll see a graphic representation of daily average posts for each account or you can also check on the daily actions executed by each tool for each account moving on let's go to the what's new tab from time to time mass planner rolls out a software update it could include added requested features or bug fixes and if you want to see a detailed information of what was included in the update you can go to the what's new tab and here you will see the change log and all the information about the update that was done for example here you'll see the date when the update was released and you will see here all the things that had been updated on the application next if you want to send an email to the mass planner support team for any concerns you may have or if you want to request for a certain feature you can go to the contact support tab write your email and then send the ticket to us finally you have the notifications tab this is where you'll see any notifications if there is any warning issued on a certain account and things like that let's now go to social profiles this is where you go to if you want to add an account to your mass planner you just click add profile and you get to choose if you want to add Facebook Google Plus Twitter Pinterest LinkedIn or Instagram to your mass planner now let's go to tools this is where you will see all the accounts that you have added to your mass planner and the available tools for each of the account some of the tools are extra modules so you need to purchase it first before it gets activated in your mass planner to access the tools you just click on the marker or you click on more tools moving forward let's go to settings it has three tabs you have the software settings tab the connectivity and the error backup under the software settings tab this is where you configure the general behavior of the application any configuration you do here or any settings you do here has a global effect which means it would apply to all of the accounts next is the connectivity tab this is where you enter the credentials for third-party applications like Flickr, death by captcha or the global clickable image post server then you have the error backup this is where you go to to check on the logs folder or if you want to restore your application to a certain restore point you can do that via error backup you have the my account this is where all the information about your account can be viewed it has the account information tab the active extra modules this are the modules that has been activated in your account your subscription under my subscription tab and recommended resources from here you can access some helpful links from mass planner now if you want to shop around for extra modules you go to the extra modules and from here you can purchase the modules that you want to add up to your mass planner then you have the destination list before you set up your campaign you need to create a destination list and this is where the post is going to be published so this is where you create the destination list for a certain campaign from here you can select the social account you want to add to your destination list including the groups pages and boards walls and profile then you have the campaigns this is where you go to when you want to create and schedule a post on your social media accounts to start creating your post for a campaign you just click on add campaign from here you will see that you have three types of campaign you have the standard campaign volume campaign and scheduled campaign the main difference between the standard campaign and the volume campaign is that on the volume campaign you can set a publishing delay between each post whereas on a standard campaign it will publish the post as soon as it can therefore if you want to post on many destinations we recommend that you use volume campaign to avoid getting banned now you use a scheduled campaign if you want to schedule a post for future publishing like for example you want to schedule a post for Christmas then this is the campaign that you're going to use 
Now, since all campaigns have similar tabs, we're just going to take a quick look on one of them. So let's click on Details, and you will see several tabs. You have the Overview tab, What to Publish tab, Where to Publish, When to Publish, Drafts, Post List, and History. On the Overview tab, this is where you can add a name to your campaign. And you will also see the Start Publishing button. When you're done creating and scheduling your post, you go back to the Overview tab to start publishing. The what to publish tab is where you add a post to your campaign and there are several ways of adding a post to your campaign as seen on your screen. When you're ready to publish the post, you click add to post list and it's gonna send it to the post list tab. When you're not ready yet, you can click add to drafts and it's gonna send it to the drafts tab. The where to publish tab is where you will choose the destination for your campaign. This is where the destination list that you created will appear. The when to publish tab is the tab where you can schedule when the post is going to be published. When you want to publish the post, you go back to the overview tab and start publishing and the published posts will appear on the history tab. So that is all for the mass planner 2 quick presentation. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye!